Ukraine loves you too. Eastern Europe, all day. My Slavic brothers here, <laughs> and sisters, and sisters. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here coming at you from beautiful Lviv, Ukraine. Today is May 15th, 2021 and we're here at a craft beer and vinyl festival, music festival. My boy Taras and Diana and we're gonna basically try Ukrainian beer. There's 46 craft brewers here. Oh my God. Let's start. That's a lot, that's a lot. So how does it work? You buy a ticket, you get a cup yeah. and that's it. Yeah, and you start. And you start, <laughs> all right. You know guys, I love craft beer in the Ukraine. They just started about five to 10 years ago, but their beer is delicious. I tried so many different ones in Kiev. So good, Bavar. I went oh, there okay. yesterday. Guys Amazing, are here. yeah. Let's go inside. Let's go. Ready. Like every beer festival, wine festival, you get a glass, and I love this one. Look at this, like the cartoon, right? The bow, yeah. right? Uh, actually, we changed this year, we changed the style, and now it's uh, like comics. This is beautiful. Love it. And then the hop, it's, a, it's the woman. Yeah, it was the hop on, on, on top. I like that. <laughs> it's like Bavar. The, the Viking with the yeah. beard yeah, is, yeah, a, yeah. is a hop. All right, let's go. So as you can see, this place is packed. There's music, there's beer, 46 different brewers here, plus 10 more home brewers. Yep. So where do we start? Uh, let's go to, to this, some L. You want to some L? Yeah, let's go. Give me a strong L, a stout, a porter. Give me whatever you want. Yeah, let's stay here. We have Imperial Scotch Ale. I would like to eat. Okay, so this brewery has something called a Scotch Ale, Imperial Scotch Ale. And it's barrel aged. Wow. It's delicious. Yeah, yeah. With these, you gotta be careful. They're really strong. So, right here it says 300 milliliters, 200, 100. I'm going with the 100 because I'm gonna drink a lot, right? Oh, yeah. It's smooth, man. For 10%, you don't feel it. But after two of these, you feel it. <laughs> right? Let's do next. <laughs> okay, so the next beer we're trying is from the Dijko Brewery, which is the Devil Brewery. Yeah. And that's from Kiev. And this is like a, a light beer, but it has Tabasco. <laughs> no, it's a little spicy. So it's not, it's not like a sour beer. Yeah. It's like a, like a spicy beer. It's good though. It's light though. I'd say like four or five percent. Not more than that. I don't see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, it's only 3%. Doesn't really matter, right? Cherry, cherry sour. And what brewery? Uh, Prouda Brewery. Your brewery? Yes, our brewery. So it's their brewery, which is actually right behind here. So straight from the beef. Let's do it. Mm, love it. Lots of berries here. So mango, raspberry. Blackberries. It's not crazy, it's not like too bitter. Just nice and sour, very fruity drink, right? That's the summer taste. Yeah, summer. For my time, it's the summer taste. You know? yeah. I like sour in summer. Whenever we go to rainy weather or cold, then I prefer the type of beer each taste there. Yeah, dark beer, dark beer. This is no Republic. So that beer is very light, 3.5% alcohol. Super fruity, sour. What's up, bro? Good? Yeah. So in the middle, there's tents. There's also a food station. What's up, guys? Yo, yo, what's up? So this is Underwood Brewery from Key, and I'm going to try their Amnesia Haze. Amnesia Haze. Okay, okay. The best one. The best one. And what is it? So, uh, what's the I ABV on this? Five percent? Okay, not not so strong, but it's gonna be sessionable, right? Yeah. I hope. <laughs> mm. Nice, hazy, not crazy in the hops. Wow, it's good. And it's New England style, right? Yes. Oh, I nailed it. I nailed it. Oh, okay, I got it. Wow, that's tasty. Okay. You gotta slow down here. <laughs> this one is Schiffer. It's a brewery from Lviv. Yeah, it's local brewery. <laughs> There's too many breweries, and we're also drinking. <laughs> okay, here we go. So it's a sweet stout. What is it called? Bit sweet stout. It's called sweet stout. <laughs> that's what it's called. Because okay. Sweet in, in, in Ukrainian, sweet. It's a world, but they wrote it like sweet. Sweet stout. Mm. So it's it's similar to a Guinness, but like a little different, right? Always different than a Guinness. 
Guinness is what started my, my beer life. <laughs> Alright, so going through this entire festival, you can see it's packed now. But over here we have like the food section. So we have hot dogs, we have fries, uh, they got pizza. What else we got in here? They have chicken, they have fish. Whoa, look at that hot dog. So what do we have? Uh, this is the bagel with the roast beef. <laughs> so look at this bagel, this is insane. What is this? So it's not really a bagel, it's more like a, the shape of a bagel. So it's bread and it's roast beef inside. Yep. Whoa, we have cheese in there. I don't even know what else is in there. It looks amazing. Sauce and uh, yeah, it's right. Huh? Mm. Sour cream, granny and all day. Mm. Oh, it's incredible. With spinach, um, got some spice in here. Oh, look at this, guys. Whoa. It's too good. Wow. Mm -hmm. okay. Love the bread. Love the roast beef. Oh, nice and creamy. Look how good this is. Oh, it's so big. What else is in your cucumbers? Man, it's like, it's like exploding, man. Hey, hey, don't take it off. <laughs> messing with you. Eat it, eat it. It's good, right? It's a massive sandwich. We're gonna have at least one or two more beers, so I gotta finish the sandwich. Mm. So tasty. The creaminess mixed with the spicy, like, I think it's like a bell pepper sauce. Mmm, with spinach. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm way too hungry. What is that? Malt with caramel and spices. <laughs> I've never seen it before. It's a little spicy though. Mm -hmm. Man. I've never had malt like that before. It's almost like a rice cake, right? But malt cake. No more for me. Oh! <laughs> so what? Liquid so, water? <laughs> give me liquid water. So the proud that project is their brewery inside the city, right? Yeah. That's what it is. Awesome. So now we're going into the brewery and we're gonna see some of the process of how they make their beers and try some. Beauty. Yes. What are we doing? We are just going to a brewery tour here in the middle of Craft Beer and Vinyl Music Festival, eighth edition. So we're gonna see the brewery and we're gonna try some beers directly from the tanks. Give me something really strong. I want a strong ale. So here we have the hot process. This is where everything is mashed and boiled and uh, filtered through the big filter tank. Then it goes over here and gets uh, cooled down to, a brew, to the fermentation temperature, goes into a tank. We have 12 tanks of two of 20 hectoliters, 12 tanks of 40 hectoliters, and 12 tanks of 60 hectoliters. And this is where all the fermentation happens. And this is where we have the maceration. Uh, and uh, in one of the other rooms in the back, we have the bottling. And here is the kegging. We're gonna try the Saison. This, is, this was brewed on my 50th birthday, so on the 20th uh, April, uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And we're gonna try it straight, fresh from the tank. I love Saison's farmhouse ales. So delicious. Let's do it. I don't do regular beers anymore. Once you, once you taste craft beer, everything else is crap beer. Exactly. <laughs> So we're trying it, Saison, good more. Good more. Good more. Mmm, nice, but it's still super young. It's very, very you, young. You can yeah. tell, you know? Yeah, it needs like a week more here in the tank, the full temperature at the last stage, but it's, uh, it's really, yeah, collecting itself together very well, yeah, to my mind. Bro, you, you're a man. Cheers. Good more. Cheers, good more. Good more. I love this. I love Ukraine. I love this place. Ukraine loves you too. Eastern Europe, all day. My Slavic brothers here. <laughs> and sisters, and sisters. Pravda is the truth. You may probably know the word Pravda from the communist uh, newspaper. Pravda, which was always telling lies, not the truth. But there is a Latin expression in Vinum Veritas in Aquasano. We were not producing wine here, but we were always producing beer. So our truth is really in beer. That's why the brewery is called Pravda. <laughs> Cheers. Ciao, you.
До зустрічі. До зустрічі. Have, a, have the most wonderful festival in your life. Right here, right now. Cheers. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I have this for life, bro. Super, my superpower, no? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, I hope you will enjoy tomorrow. Where are we going next? It's easy to make business with cool people. We are going to the <laughs> highest point of the city, High Castle Hill. I'm gonna get hit by a car here. It's okay, it's okay, guys. I'm freezing now. It was like hot today. Woo, now it's cold. Okay, so we made it here to High Castle. What's the story behind High Castle? Because there's no castle here, right? <laughs> Everybody knows High Castle as the highest point of Lviv where you can see panorama of the city. Historically, there was a castle of the founder, later of the Polish king. But all this structure was destroyed by different invaders, by Ukrainian Cossacks, by Turks, by Swedes, and finally it was pulled down. There we have a man-made memorial. It's a hill, 100 meters high, for Polish-Lithuanian Union and we go to the very top to see the panorama of the city from the castle we just have a little ruin oh uh -huh. it's a hard hike over here is the ruins of the castle yeah. that's it that's all that's left and we still have to go all the way up there wow incredible i think you have to be in shape for this if not you're gonna be tired oh wow look at this incredible so from here Look at the views, I know, exciting, super exciting. Yes, it's true, because if you haven't been to High Castle, you haven't been to Lviv, so welcome to Lviv. Yeah, that's the saying here. If you don't come here, you weren't in the city, period. Wow, the views. All right, guys, we made it to the top, and check out this view, incredible. So, you know, Lviv is separated by hills. It's like a cake, you said, right? So the different layers of history here. Yeah. And right over here, we have the old town. So that is south from here? South, Southwest. Right? Yeah. Southwest, we have the old town. You have hills, new town, you have a flag up here, and everybody comes up here and just enjoys the view, gets lots of photos. Basically, exactly. it, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. People who are graduating from university or school, the youngsters, they also like to climb up the high castle hill. It's a tradition. Yeah. To meet the sunrise or to say goodbye to the sunset. Oh, that would be amazing. I mean, <laughs> That's to, cool. to come up here in the morning, something like a like lion's head down in like Cape Town, something like that, right? Well, the beam, in fact, was built on three hilltops. It's the Citadel Hills, St. George's Hill, but the highest is the high castle hill. <laughs> You saw there's no This girl knows too much. She knows too much. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. We did craft beer vinyl music festival here in Lviv. You have to check it out next year. It's twice a year. I don't know exactly the dates, but definitely come check out their website. My friend, thank you so much. You're welcome. Come again with um, your family, kids. You know, there's a lot for kids too. Exactly, exactly. Super family friendly city. You see kids everywhere. Yeah, I love it. Even I, at the aircraft fest. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, love the video. Video, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.